Hello everyone, here is the schematic circuit diagram of a load cell which will uh, display the weight on a 7 second display. So, the circuit schematic uh, is here. I am not going to display uh, discuss anything regarding the schematic. What we are intention, what is our intention is to create a footprint now. So, we are going to create a footprint for this that is 7 segment uh, display. Now the condition is here all the components are SMD type surface mount type. So even the 7 segment modules are surface mount. So what we looked in here the, there is no matching 7 segment display. The display that we are recommending here is this. So this is the 7 segment display that is recommended. That is uh, from Vishai Sen dot com so vdmr 10.0 this is the seven segment of sm type and uh, the dimensions are given here so these are the dimensions that we supposed to uh, design for so this is the dimension of the display uh, whose uh, width is 9.8 mm and uh, height is 15 mm and uh, the other details of the patch the recommended patch details are given here which is almost 15 mm and uh, another is around 7.6 mm and each pad is having 1.6 mm width and 3 mm of height. So these are the SMD, uh, the footprints that we wanted for this. So if you want to design the footprint for this, the now the procedure is something like this. So you need to go in the keycad, you need to select the footprint editor. Once you open the footprint editor, so this will editor window will open. And you can actually search here, uh, say uh, segment or seven segment. Seven segment is already here, display segment. But unfortunately, we uh, the there is no footprint that is actually matching uh, with our dimensions. If you look at this, see here, this this diamond takes us here. So from here to here, if I measure pin to pin, it is almost around 18 mm. And what we look for is something different. So if you see here. The dimension that we need is actually 7.6 and 15 mm. So, but unfortunately, we don't. This doesn't match. This is actually 18, and this is almost uh, 10. Okay. So, there are many other seven segments, but uh, which are actually of SMD or the whole type. You know. So, what we need to do is we need to create a new print. So, we need to create a new footprint. So, click here, new footprint. And footprint name is say SMD seven seg. Okay, I'll just name it as SMD seven seg, and I'll do move this part. Uh, just select them and move this part. Okay, this one also the fab layer. Fine. So once you do that, now just see uh, what dimensions you are looking for. So we should refer to the data sheet here. So this is the data sheet that we are supposed to refer. So let's quickly do the marking of these uh, pins now, starting from this. I'll consider this as uh, the first reference pin, which I'll be using it, and I'll be positioning this. Uh, and I'll first to make the dimension of the pad, then I will place it at exactly 0, 0. So this will be placed exactly at 0, 0 coordinate and all other components of the, these pads are placed accordingly. So the dimension of this SMD pad is 3mm by 1.65mm. So what I'll do is we will choose this pad and I'm going to place this pad here. And I'm going to edit this pad with the shortcut key E, press E. The pad number is 1 and I want it as an SMD and I want it as uh, a rectangular one. And the dimension, of, I can specify the dimensions here. So, so this is a rectangular pad. So position of x is 0, position of y is 0, size of the x they specify, size of the x that I am looking for is, if you look at the data sheet, size of the x 
is 1.65 size of the y is 3 mm so size of x is 1.65 and size of the y is 3 mm so this is the size that i'm looking for and this should be placed in the front open this is an SLD package so just save it here so this is the pad so the quicker way of doing this so just see the now what I can do is I can actually replicate it I can duplicate this pad for that just see what is the the the, the gap that is actually required to maintain so the information of the gap uh, there are actually five pads here one two three four five and the total distance is one point nine here now uh, okay if you look at the data sheet it's clear that it is one point nine mm apart okay they are placed with one point nine mm apart so what I can do is just click here on this pad right click here and say create an array so when you create an array keep the horizontal count as so 5 and vertical count let it be 1 we need to keep the vertical count 1 horizontal I want 5 and the horizontal spacing is 1.9 mm and vertical spacing that I am looking for uh, no, I I look for zero vertical spacing, and that's it. So pad numbering starts from one. So let's see what happens here. So this is what happens: one, two, three, four, five. So if you measure it now here, starting from this position, and it is exactly now at seven point six dot. So, which exactly matches with the dimensions that I am looking for here, 7.6. So, I need to create one more actually. So, but when you create vertical, probably would have given as 15 mm. So, okay, let me do it automatically together for both the paths. So, I'll just create Ctrl Z. I'll do it again so that I can create both horizontal and vertical together. Okay, so just zoom out. Uh, so just press edit and create an array. I need a vertical count, let's say two. Vertical spacing is 1.9. Horizontal spacing is one. Vertical spacing I'll give 15 mm because if you look at that uh, data sheet here. I needed actually another row with 15 and on space and hopefully to give the answer oh fine that, that's correct so what I can do is I want it another way so control Z is minus 15 right click here create an array vertical count is 0 vertical spacing I want it is minus 15 and then say ok so now what I can do is I can just keep editing each of these pads. Now see the numbering. Numbering you be careful here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And just look at the data sheet the way they needed the numbering. So it's given here. Yes, exactly. This is perfect. So 1, 2, 5 here. And then 6 to 10. So this should be changed. Okay. So I need to edit it as these numbering should be edited. This should be six and this should be seven, eight, this is nine, and this one is ten. So I need to create an outer spacing for this. So anyway, that doesn't matter. You can randomly make your plot. So what is mainly thing? What's the main thing that is important is uh, this batch. So which will be used to fit the 
it will be bad. So let me just uh, it along and let me randomly create one uh, graphical axis for this with the, both the fab layer and uh, we create it uh, the fab layer also there. So we will start it from here. This is my and let it be till 20 mm and create. Okay. Fine, so we can create that. We need to create a rectangle of that actually. So let me quickly create that with this axis here and another axis over here, another axis over here. So I'm not going to maintain any particularly dimension for this. Just quickly draw a layer. Yeah. Fine. And one more layer is a the front silk. It's here. Create one more layer. So I just created this and my pad is ready so I am going to save this under 7 segment and the category I will choose it as segment display here, yeah, display 7 segment category I will choose it. So this will be updated. So here is my 7 segment package which is ready to be used. So that's it.